So in this video, I want to talk about the importance of uh, following your own taste and doing your own thing as an artist. I think it's absolutely important. Um, it's become, uh, it's the thing that I tell in my private classes. I always sit down my students at some point. This is something I've found myself doing more and more. And I tell them that this is the most important thing that I'm going to teach you in this class. And that is that you ultimately have to follow your own taste and, and do your own thing and not trying to conform to a, a group's t um, you know, style or, or, or even another artist's style or even listening to people and telling you how you should paint. But you absolutely have to follow your own taste, your own, what you like, what you want to paint is what you should paint. And, uh, and let me talk, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, but I wanted to briefly mention that I have a, um, a video demo coming out on Thursday, two days from now, about how to paint fabric, and I'm looking forward to showing you guys that. So I just wanted to let you know that that's coming out. Um, so let me go back to this lesson, and I want to start with a quote from Andrew Wyeth, one of my favorite artists, and let me just read it to you. People only make you swerve. I won't show anybody anything I'm working on. If they hate it, it's a bad thing. And if they like it, it's a bad thing. An artist has to be ingrown to be any good. So what I think he's saying is, let's say you're painting a painting and you've, you're halfway done and somebody walks in and they tell you, you know, I really don't like uh, the blue in, in the background over there. And let's say that you were just developing this painting, you're, you're on your way and, and you were going to paint blue, but maybe you hadn't really painted it the way you were ultimately going to paint it. You were going to tone it down. You were going to do something else to it, but you're in progress and your painting's in progress. And somebody walks in and they say, you know, I really don't like the blue in the corner over there. Well, number one is they don't have your vision. They don't know where you're going with the painting. Number two, they might just not like the color blue and you might like the color blue. And why would you want to paint what somebody else uh, likes instead of what you like. You really can never trust what anybody else tells you. They, they, there may be a million reasons why they like something one way and another way, but it's really important that you have your own vision as an artist and that you follow your own taste. And you know, even when people take my class, I'm always telling them it's not what I like, it's what you like. You know, a, another another aspect of this is that you know a lot of times. You're, as you're developing your style, you have this, this vision. You may not even be consciously aware of it, but something, a direction that you're going as an artist and you know, seeking things out, trying to figure out your style, whether it's composition, lighting, or how you paint, or whatever it is. But when you're halfway there, you, know, you, you may not, you're in progress, and, and it may not be time to, for people to judge your work. They may come in and tell you they don't like something about your work that puts you off in a different direction when they really weren't even, didn't even know where you're going ultimately. So it's something that, that you have to, um, to, to stand as an artist, to, to be an individual, to have something to say is very, very important. You know, ultimately art is an expression of the artist. It is the true uniqueness of the artist that, that is expressed. And it's really uh, uh, something that you know, speaks from the human spirit. And everybody has something to say. And it's, sometimes it takes uh, people longer to find their true voice or their true style as an art or even to know the subject matter that they ultimately want to paint. And it's, a, it's a, um, something that everybody has to explore for themselves and discover for themselves. Um, but what I see, and this is, this is the real message that I want to give you in this video, and I see it in my classes, I see it in my students when they come and take a class, and then I see their work two years later, and people, I don't know if it's a lack of confidence or, or, or whatever it is, but they go and they, they end up either joining a, a group of a style of artists, and they, or they take a workshop, and all of a sudden they're painting in a certain style, or they feel somebody tells them they don't like this, so they stop painting that, or they're very influenced by what other people are telling them. And I think that ultimately you absolutely have to be confident in what you like. And, to, and, and even if your uh, style isn't fully developed, people not, may not be aware you know, that where you're ultimately going. But it's really important to have a voice as an artist, otherwise you're just regurgitating what's already out there. And to have something fresh to say is, is a huge thing. I mean, if you ever, uh, you know, think about your own experience when you're walking through a gallery and all of a sudden you see 
a, a piece of, of, of artwork that's unlike anything you've seen before, a new style, something with a unique look, um, or whatever it is, th those are the things that are really, um, you know, really catch your attention and really um, can even, um, you know, move you in a way because it gives you a new perspective. And it's that new perspective that, that is only going to come from the individual. And so I, I don't want to just keep repeating myself, but you absolutely have to, in the end, trust your own taste. And if you're not trusting your own taste and you're not doing what you think you want to do and pursuing your own um, vision as an artist, then you're just conforming to somebody else or you're just you know, listening to other people and trying to do what they tell you to do. And you'll never find, you'll, you know, to, to get to the core of, of the, you know, the human creative spirit or whatever you want to call it, you, you know, it's the individual. It's, it's deep down in here. It's not something that you, know, that you can um, uh, uh, follow somebody else and find. Um, now, that doesn't mean you can't be influenced by, um, you know, great artists, especially when you're starting out. You know, you can see styles that you like and, and you can, you know, even emulate parts of those styles. But ultimately, you have to um, really go your own way and have something to say and follow your own vision. And basically, it all boils down to you look at your painting or you look at whatever it is you're working on when you're deciding what to paint and you say, I like that. I like this, and maybe you don't even need to explain it, but it's ultimately that taste that you have to trust, um, regardless of what it is. And, and there are different people in the world. There are some people like this, some people like that, and, and that's fine. But ultimately, you have to have something to say as an artist. And so anyway, um, uh, remember a couple days, I got a new video coming out on painting fabric and we'll see you guys uh, on Thursday and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. And by the way, I have my own art supply company right here in Austin, Texas and we manufacture all of our own products. We have a whole line of paint and brush holders, palettes, color checkers, all sorts of things. So go check that out if you haven't at GenevaFineArt.com.